All right, welcome back to the number one Bengals podcast. Working hard for the money. Show yeah. number two. Right. Now, uh, the Bengals signed Trey Waynes to a big deal. Really, the second biggest deal in free agency after DJ Reader. And really, I mean, for the by the Bengals' standards, this would have been the biggest deal uh, for the for the offseason in a long time. Right. You know, and, and, and we had a whole ordeal where he wanted to sign his deal, but the Bengals said, hey, we want to wait till we can get you in the building. And they delayed that, you know, because of the whole situation we have, yeah. the whole very cool. confusing. Yeah. It's and, not confusing. Don't do that. Right. Yeah. And, and, and so what happened was his agent told him, do not do any off-site physical, uh, you know, do not do any uh, off-season workouts yeah. that will affect the chances of you getting your deal. Don't get hurt. Yeah. Be careful. Save it for the game, Buster Bob. That's what yeah, and he say. said. And he said if they could just do this physical and sign the deal, great. He'll get better prepared. But if he can't get yeah. prepared, you know, I'm worried he could maybe tear a pec muscle or something. Yeah. And nobody does it. Get a physical, physical, yeah. Right. And so what happened is, his agent, I don't know what kind of powers this man has, he was right. He That's what the good agent does. Yeah. Right. And uh, so now we don't have him for, we don't really know how long. I mean, look, you look at uh, Billy Price tore a pec muscle, right, John? His rookie year? William Jackson did too. No, I know, but yeah. Billy Price tore his, but he came back and played. Right, and we talked to Billy Price, and he looked great. He Billy looked Price great. tore his pectoral in February of that year, and he okay, was ready yeah. by July. Okay, there you go. Now William Jackson, though, he tore his pec muscle when John also around like what July or something, late yeah. July, early August. Yeah, yeah, and then he maybe could have came back what like November or something, just around there. Yeah, yeah, but they decided not to play him. No. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, so you look at the timelines, and they are not consistent. You, we really don't know. Now, uh, I mean, uh, we don't know much about the nature of this, the severity, how it compares to the different guys. Uh, John, so how long are we expecting him out? I think the initial prognosis was two months, which was the rumor, and then he got, I believe, a second opinion. And I guess that prognosis is pe pending on the result of that second opinion and the MRI being sent to the other doctor. We have to think of this, it's like Bengals injuries in terms of time frameworks. It's like black hole re relativity, like the closer that you get time works kind of differently. So with a normal injury, you know, there's a pretty standard recovery time, but with the Bengals, it's like you're, you're approaching closer to the black hole, whereas time moves kind of slower and therefore it takes longer for that injury to to process and, complete, and completely heal. We've seen this in numerous situations in recent years, and I don't think Trey Wayne's going to be any different, and especially it happens to fir former first-round picks as well. So, yeah, it could be October. It could be October of next year. We're not going to know until that actually John, happens. John, I, I, I would beg a, a bit of clarity. Is the reason that a Bengals recovery time takes more is because that the player is secretly hoping for another opportunity? No, I think it's more black magic more than anything, actually. Oh, wow. We're yeah. on the same page. No, black Hoji, magic, we talked coach. about this. We talked about how the Bengals training a staff. We, they have a lovely, uh, you know, elderly lady, uh, yeah. Betsy, right? It was a Betty. You guys, sorry, yeah, the problem is you guys use so much humor. I really, honestly, I legitimately do not understand what's happening. Why is it that the Bengals, someone would take a longer time to heal being a Bengal? I'm explaining. Because they don't have the training a staff. They don't have the, you know, the kind of infrastructure. Better. Yeah, they don't, they don't. I, I just rub some chili on it. John, yeah. can you help me understand what the truth is here? Because I'm very confused. The truth is he tore his pectoral in a walkthrough before they actually put pads on, which is going to be next week. And the initial prognosis for the injury is that he'll be out for two months. How long and is that actually for? We don't know. No, he's saying, Bengals, why, why does this keep happening to the Bengals? Hole. Your black, the black hole, hole theory. The black hole oh, theory. But, now, yeah. Why are the well, Bengals? Our, yeah, the, I'm, I'm glad you asked that because, like, you know, black holes are black holes, right? But yeah, like, the, the the color of a black hole is not really known, but the color of the Raiders' black hole is a black hole, and that's what the Raiders fan base, like their their fan section, is known for. And the Bengals went into the black hole about 30 years ago and ruined the career of Bo Jackson, oh. and never then. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, again, I no, get but, it. But is there something I different? Read the lines. Hold on, hold on. 
is there something different? Because we look into AJ Green, you know, is a simple ankle injury, and then it turns into like, will he ever walk again? Is oh there God. something? Is there something about the Bengals and how they handle injuries or yeah. the information they share about injuries? What is it? Why is oh, it always a surprise? That's what John Why is it always worse Green. than we think? AJ Green is thinking, hey, I might want to get out of the town before sunrise. That's your theory. Okay, guys, I want to move on to a more fruitful conversation. And I want to talk about who is going to fill the black hole left by yeah. Trey Waynes. Because, yeah, he's not... He's not an elite corner, if you will, but he is no, a starting we cornerback. We need and corner. The Bengals have a younger guy who oh, bring it flash some potential. Woo. There is Phillips. Oh. And I think Cincy Jungle had him ranked about the same as Trey Waynes in their overall player rankings, which is uh, interesting. I thought you were going to say Drake Kirkpatrick. Woo! No. Get the Drake. No. I need my Drake. Yeah. I got a fever. I got a fever, and the only cure for it is Drake Kirkpatrick. Okay, so so what I'm saying is, Darius Phillips is not that big of a drop off in terms in terms of coverage, right, no. John? I mean, he's not a big drop off in terms of coverage, so it's not like the defense is 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 vulnerable now. They're they're no. about the same level as they were in your estimation, yeah. If, if we can just be frank about Trey Wayne, he's not obviously frank. It wasn't really that good of a cornerback. He's pretty average in terms of league standards. In terms of coverage, he just wasn't very special and definitely not worth the money that the Bengals gave him. With Darius Phillips now, like if the concern with Phillips is that he's still pretty inexperienced and he still allows big players to go over his head and whatnot, that's pretty much what was going to happen with Trey Waynes anyways because that's really just the player that he is. Trey Waynes is a, is a very good tackler. And that's why he was valued by the Bengals so much. But the Bengals should have valued coverage more than tackling from their cornerbacks. And now Who would they have signed, though? Who could they have assigned Drake. that you know Drake. would be great at coverage? Who is available? Drake. There are a number of quarterbacks that are available, number of cornerbacks that are available that they chose to go Trey Wayne's because he tackles better. Um, with Darius Phillips, better coverage ability, better ball skills, better ball tracking. It, you're not going to get as you're you're going to get more fruitful opportunities for turnovers than the guy like Wayne Sue, like Drake or Patrick. Let a lot of plays over his head. gave up, gave up a lot of plays. In the end of his career, the Vikings, he played a little bit better. He was a little more stable, a little bit more consistent. And the hope was that that would that trend would continue in Cincinnati, but that's yeah. still the player that he is, and that's still, I guess, projecting projecting success rather than just actually seeing yeah. success beforehand and then paying for that. So with Phillips, yeah. you get similar, you get more upside in terms of turnover potential, ball skills, ball production, but you get the same questionableness in terms of getting burned and lo losing track of coverage. All right. So, John, yeah. there are some other names here that I did some research. And we have a man named LaShawn Sims. And we have one, Vincent Rose. And we signed a Tony Brown. Where yeah, do they fit into all of this? Are any of them in the mix? Or is it clearly Phillips who's going to be the starting corner? Phillips, gets, Phillips is going to get first chances. I think that's pretty clear. Yeah. Being a guy who was here last year, who was drafted by the team, who had starting experience last year, I think he's the first in line to get these opportunities. If he somehow flaunters, then it probably goes to a guy like Sims, who was with the Titans last year. He has experience starting in the NFL as a boundary corner. Um, I think it was brought in more for special teams experience, but in order to have value on special teams, you actually have to be activated for the games. And if he is, he's going to have opportunity to actually play some snaps there with rose and brown those guys were undrafted free agents um yeah. brown, is actually, brown actually has nfl experience winston rose played in canada and had nine interceptions in his last 18 games with the cfl won Amazing. the Grey cup which is the wow. super bowl for canada Amazing. so yeah ball skills and, with rose and who knows if those are gonna train. who knows if that's going to translate into the nfl we have no I, idea but he if he gets the opportunity we'll, we'll see firsthand but, but john can i just say can i just say kudos to trey wayne's agent yeah. For, for getting him, uh, you know, for setting things up so nicely for him. I pulled a groin muscle, and that you still makes me do the show every week, very often. So you, I don't have a good agent. That's why, despite my groin injury, here I am. Trey Wayne's good agent. See, that's well, we got him one of those office chairs so he can yeah. roll around. He, he doesn't really need ice. to use his the groin ice anymore. Even in a bag, it just melts all over my pants. It's yeah. a piece of ice. I'll be honest with you. That is what our budget dictates right now. But if you want to get Hoji's groin looked at and, yeah. and treated, then yeah. you can support the show. You can go to patreon.com slash sports. Yeah. And you can be patronizing towards us. Now, if you join the Carlos Dunlap tier, one yeah. of the advantages 
one of the perks is that we will give you a special birthday message or if you like a anniversary message. And one of those guys is Nick Marks. And Whoa. yeah, and Thursday happens to be his 40th birthday. So congratulations to you, uh, Nick Marks. Yeah. And and if may I may I because you know I'm a friend of Nick Marks. I don't know if you know we went on vacation to the Bahamas together. May I sing a little song for Nick Marks's birthday quickly? Yeah, sure. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. A winning birthday awaits you, Nicholas Marks. I've looked through all the star charts and they say the cosmos' greatest plan was for you to be a Bengals fan. You'll live a long life with cats instead of children. You'll all be eating vegan in Hyde Park. You'll wear gold buckled shoes with chili fashioned from tofu. But they party. Party for Nick Marx. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Birthday party. Party for Nick Marx. Yeah. Yeah. Over here, yeah. Yeah. That, that was great. Marx. That's that was it. great. That was great. Thank you. All right. That's all we have for this show. We will see you next time. So long. Oh, Hit don't forget like to. Button. Yeah. Smash the like button. Comment. You know. Yeah, subscribe, turn on notifications, all that stuff. We will see you next time. So long. Sweetie. Bye. Drake Propagandish.